Nine, you're a go for landing, over. Houston, Apollo 11, over. After helping pick the moon's sea of tranquility as the landing site for man's first lunar landing, Missouri S&T graduate Farouk Al-Baz describes nervously watching the final seconds of the astronaut's descent into lunar valleys filled with huge rocks in 1969. And the Sea of Tranquility was the best because it was the flattest area where the, we would know that the uh, spacecraft would land without any blocks on the surface. I was at the Mission Control Center because we were very concerned about uh, whether they would land in the place where we selected or not. Uh, and Neil Armstrong was uh, flying and uh, Buzz Aldrin was reading the numbers for him. 2,047 degrees, Roger. And we were terrified because of this reading of the numbers. He kept on telling him the velocity and the elevation, meaning the elevation between the spacecraft and the lunar surface. And we thought that they should not be doing that. They should land right away because it's fine. It's a flat area that we selected. And he was not landing in the flat area because he, when he looked at the window, he looked down and he was seeing he was going to land in the middle of a very rough crater. And the crater had very large blocks. Half of them are half, uh, house size, so it would have been a disaster. So he took the controls and moved the spacecraft away from that very rough location to land on a smoother surface. And uh, during these few seconds, I mean, everybody lost their senses. We everybody lost their thoughts because what, what what's happening here? Houston Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. It was certainly euphoria, but before that euphoria, we were terrified. And indeed, they did not land in the place where we thought they would land. They were off by seven kilometers, which is a very long stretch on the moon. And the reason for this is the fact that we did not know about variations in the velocity of the spacecraft as it approached the surface due to gravitational pull. It turned out that all of the dark areas on the moon that make the face of the man on the moon are made of basalt, which is a uh, volcanic rock that is very heavy. It has a great deal of uh, heavy elements like iron and magnesium. They attracted the sp spacecraft as the spacecraft went around the moon several times, so it brought it in a little bit every time, and therefore, because it was closer to the moon than we thought, it landed farther away from the landing site. 